Hello, welcome to For The Culture. We are here. This your girl, Sherez Miller. How y'all doing today? Okay. I'm fat fool, y'all. Y'all know me. The fat fucker. We got um the most beautiful list. New artist coming out of Orlando today. Introduce yourself. Hi, guys. My name's C. Or leave it to C. Whatever y'all want to call me. I go by C. Um, follow me on my social media. At leave it, the number two. S E A. Why leave it to Beaver? <laughs> leave it to Beaver. Why leave it to C to do something like that? Leave it to C to. Oh, you be, okay. you be doing some wild shit. That's why you never know. Yeah. You never know what could happen. Anything can happen. Oh, so that's going to be it. Pound. Leave it to C. Leave it to C. Ah, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Leave music to C. Yeah. Okay. Leave makeup to C. Leave that's dope, to though. C. Hey, we might start some shit. Don't be stealing my brand. It's a no, brand. it ain't no. <laughs> Yo, shit. Okay, yeah. You know, we just my, gonna build the see a whole lot of game shit. You know what I'm sure. saying? <laughs> so, um, firstly, I want to get into the name. Okay. Artist name is important. I see C. You got the colors. You got the hair. Right. Everything, even from the Instagram. If y'all haven't checked out the Instagram page. Everything I'm I'm, I'm, yes. <laughs> Everything just blue, just <sighs> yeah. Where um, come from? Well, my my real name is Chelsea. Okay. Um, so when I was looking and thinking about rap names, I was just like, damn, what's my rap name gonna be? Like, I was like, I couldn't think of nothing. So I was like, I'm just gonna be C. Like, I'm just gonna be C. Like, who else can I be other than myself? So like, okay, you feel me? So that worked. And then like C, and I was like, you know, Ocean. SCA Ocean Blue, I'm gonna dye my hair blue. Like, I'm gonna just go full, full force. Cause you know, I, I couldn't get like a face tattoo. <laughs> so I was like, what am I gonna do? Like, I'm gonna be a rapper. Like, they gotta take me serious. Dye my hair blue, you know? So now everything's out soon and I'm, I'm gonna see, you know? So it's cool. Okay, I soon. <laughs> so, um, it's do to see, like, you from the O? Are you originally from the O? Or um, I'm actually an Orlandian, which is like rare because everybody else moves here. Thank you. <laughs> I'm an Orlandian, but I'm a yeah. Floridian for real, for real. For real, like we Floridians. Okay. So I was born and raised in Orlando, Winnie Palmer Hospital. Shout out to y'all. Um, <laughs> I'm from Pine Hills, um, so West Orlando, little baby. Uh, okay. I went to Evans, graduated from Evans High School. Um, I touched a couple schools, like I think I went to Lee Middle, went to Meadowbrook, I went to Edgewater, so um, definitely Orlando kid for sure, like all about my city type thing. So that's pretty dope. Um, what more about myself? I don't know. Y'all gotta ask something. <laughs> I wanna know as far as where you like, when, when coming up in Pine Hills, what were you into before music? Okay, so coming up in Pine Hills, so I used to live, before I was in Pine Hills, I was on the east side. I went to like a majority white school called Blakeman Elementary K-8. Um, it was really dope. My mom moved us over to the hood around like age uh, nine. Oh, okay. So I'm from Rosemont, like I live off the North Lane, right. Rosemont. So, um, okay. In, in school, I was always like into everything. Like, I can't say that I used to stick to one thing or even that I had okay. one crowd of friends that I would hang out with because I like, I like to dabble in everything. Like, so I was in cheerleading um, from age nine to 18. Oh, wow. I was a Girl Scout since kindergarten. You should have been I was, a mad fan. I was, I was a Girl Scout, Scout five, too. four, five. Shout out to them. Uh, I was a Girl Scout for over 10 years, so I like to camp, hike, swim, fish. Like, I get down and dirty. You fish? All that. Okay, hey, I know how to set up a tent. Hey, uh, so we gonna know. survive. Yes. It's the world Thank ends. You. We gonna fit. I'm walking off. <laughs> I know how to do it for baits and all. All that, you all that. This. Exactly. You got to be a Girl Scout. Put your kids in Scouts because that's important. Um, I was always in the community center. Like, so my mom would put me in like after school. So I went to the Rosemont Community Center. Um, so I used to join little activities that they used to do. You know, they try to keep us entertained. So we yeah. did like little like Christmas plays. And I would always try out, get the star roll. Ching. 
Um, I oh, you to, will get the star role? Like, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna try it out. I want to get the role that I want. I want the lead role. See? Like, you know, See? like try your child right, and they're gonna go places. Exactly, go hard. Be a winner. Home. Exactly. <laughs> um, I was in chorus actually from like age five, like in kindergarten. I was always a choir kid. So you ever had a solo? Um, I think I tried out for a solo before, but I get really nervous when yeah. it comes to my singing because you know, people like you hit that one wrong note, and people are like, mm -hmm. no, you're like, okay, yeah, especially you know. in high school, they was extra, yes, like in, in middle school and stuff like that, it doesn't really matter, like everybody's having fun, like you still clapping in chorus, you know, but yeah. once it starts to get real, like, you know, I always kind of just, I was a soprano too. So I can okay. sing alto, I can sing soprano. I like to hit tenor notes because I think that's pretty dope. You sing in your music or you rap? I'm a rapper. You're a rapper. I'm right? a rapper. Or do you ever like do like background vocals? Um, melodies, mm -hmm. do your own courses. Have I you think, tried I that think yet? You should. Might as well. Yeah, I'm, honestly I got a couple songs that I'm working on. I think like the people that have been keeping up with my music and paying attention are gonna be really blown away and really shocked because I've been dropping a lot of freestyles because like mm. I said I'm a rapper so right. I'll serve you bars all day but okay um as far as the song <laughs> but as far as songs I'm melodic like nobody could take that from me yeah. I've been in chorus since I was five you know and when I wasn't in chorus I was doing things like theater and you know yeah. I was in SGA so you know I was I'm, I, I would like to say I'm a very well-rounded individual question. random question mm -hmm. have you ever did candlelight for Disney? Candlelight. I think I did. Like, um, they well, did that in middle torturous. school. What is that? Torturous. Candlelight. Is I know. Like, candlelight. They send you to Disney. They send you to Disney and you're supposed to sing these songs. Like, they slip like a man. You know what I'm saying? No. Well, they got to do candlelight. <laughs> Sometimes. Who is that? What is candlelight we, exactly? We used to do candlelight at, on Disney. You go out there and it's like all the Disney songs, they put you on a stage, you got these roles and these hot ass lights. Disney! And then the famous <laughs> celebrity. Disney! No. Disney is called Candlelight? Yeah, like? yeah it's called like the, a the show. It's like a show. They oh, put you on a the stage. Oh, like show. And you like a choir, you a choir. And you oh, in some roles. Snap. And they bring a celebrity in to read mm -hmm. a Christmas story. Both of y'all did that? Singing the songs. I've done it before, but well, I've been on the camera. You've you been about to die up there. <laughs> <laughs> they tell you do not drink anything that has color in it. Drink water. Why? Because if you throw because them high ass lights and you got oh, all you be and all of that. What? You know Disney gonna do it big. You know they is not about to do a show without lights, candles, fire, some shit running somewhere, Disney somewhere. Like like a whole they got a whole um, orchestra. <laughs> like Kevin Hart, uh, yeah, they got a whole orchestra, all of that. It's like live music. It's like a whole band, a whole orchestra. Well, I'll be done. Let's find out. That's dope. That's dope. That is dope. So, 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 because I know theater, Florida, Florida, like theater schools and chorus be, we, they be, they be working us. Off. What? They be working us. But that yeah. ain't no little shit. Nah, they don't play. <laughs> they don't play about music here. Florida does not play about music. Not they, just Miami. Yeah. Not just South Florida. <laughs> like Central. Central Florida don't play about music neither. So, yeah, I think that's pretty dope. I was pretty well rounded as a kid. So. That's what's up. Yeah. So like um now as a artist, a rapper, firstly being a rapper in the game, how you feel about being a rapper in Orlando? Because that is blowing up right now. Female rapper in Orlando. Being a female rapper in Orlando is a privilege. Like it's a blessing. Like honestly, I feel like rap for me was something I fell into. So, how do I feel being an artist? Like, I feel, I feel alive. Like, when people notice my songs or when people like my music, or I have people that hit me up all the time. They're like, oh my gosh, can you please keep doing music? Like, you're so good. You're, you're hecka talented. Like, you know, don't give up. Like, you know, I just started like maybe a month, month and a half ago. So, wow. getting all that hey. support and getting people that are actually That's watching dope. my videos or commenting and going that extra mile for me it makes me feel hecka special and i mess with y'all for messing with me so that's really dope like Straight up. Straight that's up. what's up so you got any projects coming out right now projects. i know you want the, the record on your soundcloud um 
Is that going on a project or is it um, no average single? average uh, everybody check out average I just dropped it on SoundCloud it's on Spotify it's on Apple Music okay. um, YouTube um, but I'm I've been thinking about working on something but like I don't know I just don't feel like I have a real fan base or following yet so I'm like well, no, I'm gonna a, work on cool. something you getting that. You and getting like you yeah, I'm definitely, 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 and a shout out to you. So, so with that, yeah. so, so then that means we're gonna have to get this settled right now. <laughs> you, gonna, you gotta make a project. Definitely, I was thinking about it. Like when I first started, like thinking about rapping, I'm like, I'm gonna drop an EP. I'm gonna drop a mixtape. Like I'm gonna be the flyest. Like, and I was like, I'm gonna name it "Give a Bitch the Blues." Like, Give a bitch I'm giving the all blues. the bitches the blues. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's kind of dope. That's dope. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But I feel like there's so much like that I've been taking in and learning. Ooh, I like that too. That's kind of upbeat. Um, <laughs> there was so much that like I take it in, like as an artist, like. I'm an artist and I write music or I, I rap or I put on beats and I have fun on beats and that's who I am and I love to show that in my music but there's a lot that goes behind being an artist and it's like a lot for it was a lot for me to take on like when you fell into you didn't know what you fell into did you? yeah like yeah. I was like you know I'm just gonna start rapping you know well, like, <laughs> what you was telling us you was built for it because you was doing candlelight you was Already a cheerleader on the spotlight. Right. Yeah. So what was so what's the whole, what's, what's the whole? The problem that like it's not a problem. It's yeah. like the challenges that okay. I'm facing as a new artist are like it's my yeah. job to get out here and release music or release videos or network with people or to like do a show. Like I yeah. set all that up for myself. You know my interviews, contacting people, emails. Like it's a lot to deal with. You know yeah. it's well it's not a lot to deal with. Like. Uh, obviously, I have a real life job that I'm doing as well, but it's a lot to add on to what I'm doing, and it's it's very overwhelming. Yeah. So to say, like, I'm gonna drop an EP, like, my first couple months where I've been like, it's just like, wow, that's like a lot of work that I'm putting in. But I do have songs. It shouldn't be a far fetched goal. It's not. I have a bunch of songs recorded that I'm just like sitting on because I'm so stingy with my music because I'm a perfectionist. Like. We about to hit you up about it. We about to <laughs> give, a, give a bitch the blues at. <laughs> Where is that? Give a bitch the blues. Where is that at? I feel y'all. I feel y'all. We, we, oh, we about to do that. You don't got to be three songs. Three songs. songs. Well, I already got you three songs. Do nothing. Yeah, you got it already. You don't <laughs> have to make it ten records. Yeah. No, no, but that's not true extra. because you just got to crawl before you walk. Sometimes people try to be an artist. They try to jump in. Right. At first. Well, yeah. I think that, like I said, with my music and because I feel like I've done music for so long and like I just feel like. I'm a perfectionist when it comes to everything else as well. Mm. So like my visuals, like I've been really hard on myself lately about my visuals and what I've been dropping. Like the other day I did a photo shoot and didn't have any eyelashes on. Like, what? what was but that's thinking? because you was overwhelmed with shit though. Right, like, or like I can't drop those visuals. I don't have no lashes, you know, like, or my videos when I'm recording them in the car, you know, like, oh, I didn't like that part or the lighting wasn't right or like everything. My mixtape covers for average, I had to get a, you know, a song cover. So it's a lot. It's, it's not like you just wake up and slap a mixtape together. And when you like, when you care about your content, you put that extra time. Yeah, that's real. You know, yeah. like, you put that extra time into it. So I don't want to rush give a bitch the blues. Who knows if I actually give a bitch the blues. All right. So what I want you to do is, you know, just let us know where to find you at again and how we're going to get into the music that you already have out. Cool, cool. You know? Um, Find me on, I'm most active on my Twitter. So follow me on Twitter for sure. I'm not stuck up i'll respond to you talk to you all of that um retweets likes so follow me on twitter at leave it to see l-e-a-v-e-i-t-2 s-e-a um same thing for instagram for um facebook for anything anything but snapchat all of that follow me do that and um uh, stay updated with my music i have a soundcloud link in my instagram bio for all of the songs that i do currently have dropped stay tuned because i've been working on things like i said i'm sitting on music and it's gonna drop it's gonna drop <laughs> it's gonna drop because you're gonna so, give a what you're gonna give a, give a bitch the blues <laughs> <laughs> we out y'all <laughs>